Hi, I'm Wes Colson from Colson Elder Law, proudly serving clients throughout the St. Louis metropolitan area and beyond. I hope you enjoy the Elder Law and Estate Planning video you're about to watch. We think we can help people best when they're aware of the types of situations they need help with and understand that there's help available and that we're happy to provide it. I hope you enjoy. Sometimes when I'm talking to people about their estate plans, they throw out the idea of the possibility of leaving something for uh, one or more of their parents. And, you know, in a sense, in a lot of cases, that can be a good idea. People who are doing well often have parents who uh, are kind of just getting by on Social Security. Um, it can be a good idea, but there's a right way and a wrong way of going about it. The right way is to leave it for them in trust and to have the trust set up so that that money will benefit them. But if they wind up in a nursing home and would be applying for Medicaid, that money won't count as theirs in a way that it would uh, have to be spent to pay for the nursing home care. In other words, what's, whatever is not needed for their care will stay in the family. The other important reason about doing it into a trust is that uh, whatever money is not needed for them, you will be the one through your trust saying what's going to happen with the rest of that money that's left uh, when your parent passes away. Um, if it's left to them and they don't have a will, the fact that you left them money may be the thing that puts their estate into an otherwise unnecessary probate, um, or they may have left it to people that uh, you would not have wanted any money left to. So uh, taking care of parents, great idea, but let's come in and see me and we'll make sure we do that the right way. Thanks.